Hey friends, welcome back. Just Christina here. And today we're going to discuss some papers. Um, this is actually a court document. The document itself was written in 1983. Some of the references are drawn from an October 10th, 1954 article uh, from Dr. David Goldstein. Uh, he was a doctorate of law and he was talking about the Purim of Col Nidre and the differences of, um, can I say Christian shoes? Can I say that without getting flagged or offending anyone? Um, in his documentation, he basically gave a lot of examples and some of those examples include the definition of the Illuminati and it says all those belonging to the Illuminati, the word Illuminati means holder of light and is derived from Lucifer. So he's talking about the influences over the courts of the Shriners, Masons, Elks, Moose, and Oddfellows. Um, talking about the Illuminati in the United States, which is the Council of Foreign Relations, how the plot started in the 1700s. Uh, head of the Illuminati is the Rothschilds of England. Montgomery Ward and Mobile are the same company. Mobile belongs to a company that owns Standard and Exxon. 40% of the money goes to the Illuminati from those companies, or 40% of the money that goes to the Illuminati comes from those companies. The Illuminati believe in Lucifer, not Satan. The Masons were formed as an organization going undercover to protect themselves from the persecution of witchcraft. Back when witches were being persecuted, a uh, ceremony or initiation of a mason is exactly the same as when entering into witchcraft. The Masonic Temple and the Temple of the Rothschilds are one and the same. There's another organization called the Prosta Brotherhood, of which there is an inner and outer. The outer Prosta is a good group. The inner Prosta were turned out of England because of their human sacrifice practices. Charles Manson belonged to the inner prosta. Um, okay, so I'm trying to skip a lot of this because it's just, there's no name on it. There's no resources or references or, or anything to really go on other than what's here. And of course, being prepared by a doctorate of law and having the appropriate places for all of the signatures and the notaries of the court. Um, and then, of course, here, it's it looks like a court document, doesn't it? So this is the Purim of Kul Nidre. And what this essentially states is that you can require anyone in the court to sign this document who is sitting on your case or representing you in any way whatsoever. That includes the judge, the prosecuting attorney, your attorney, um, even the jury members and if they are not christian it says that they need to sign this in order to prove that they are not uh in cahoots if you will or members of any of those organizations and it says that since the courts are largely or 95 percent back then was the quote of influence over the courts that the way you can protect yourself or the way that you can get fair representation from a Christian courtroom is to make them sign this. So by affirming their signature on this basically states that they don't belong to those organizations. And it also states that if they refuse to sign this, then they cannot sit in your courtroom during your proceedings. So I think it's pretty interesting. It's very old. It's food for thought. It's nothing that I've ever heard of before, and certainly hope that I don't have the need to in the future uh, to invoke this or to have any encounters with the law, of course. Um, nobody wishes that, but to get fair and adequate representation, this might be something that um, somebody from a specific minority group or something, or I don't know. I don't know of any circumstance where you would need to have that because when you're in a court of law, 
you're guaranteed to have that fair representation. But I guess if you're worried about it and you want to make sure that it's just a Christian courtroom that you're in, then by all means invoke the your right here to make them sign the Purim of Kol Nidre. So thanks for joining me. We're going to move on to the next one. And Just Christina signing out.